two minutes, 20 seconds away from launch. The crew on board reporting in good health, ready to go, all the systems checking out. The Soyuz standing there on the pad where just 55 years ago in about a month, Yuri Gagarin kicked off uh, the age of human space flight. Jeff Williams, Alexei Ovchinin, and Alex Skropochka ready to keep it moving forward. Under two minutes away from launch. You'll see the final two umbilical towers attach to the vehicle, um, detach the first one, separating at about T minus 35 seconds, and then the final one uh, retracting at about T minus 15 seconds. And again, the Soyuz engines will fire for several seconds until the thrust of the rocket is able to overpower um, the force of the um, holding arms keeping the rocket in place. Very simple, but a very elegant way of keeping the rocket upright on the pad. One minute and counting. We have one. Vehicle to internal power. And the vehicle now on internal power. Sort of like you won. Everything is and there goes the first umbilical tower marking just about T minus 35. Should be under 30 seconds away from liftoff. Order sequence initiated. Auto sequence initiated. Launch command issued for ignition. Second arm retracting, launch command issued. You can see the engines firing, ramping up. Flight speed. Engines at maximum thrust. The turbo pumps are at flight speed, standing by. Lift off. And liftoff. Jeff Williams, Alexei Ovchinin, and Oleg Skropochka launching to the International Space Station. The first stage of the Soyuz booster delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from the four strap-on boosters and the single core engine. The first stage going to be burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds into the flight, passing through the cloud layer. See the crew on board. Again, Alexei Ochin in there in the center seat. Getting good reports of first stage uh, functioning throughout the launch so far. Just one minute since liftoff. Sixty seconds in powered flight. Your pitch and roll are nominal. Everything's nominal on board, Musk. So as we approach one minute and ten seconds into the flight, the velocity of the vehicle already at about 1,100 miles per hour. Again, everything continuing to go well with the ascent, uh, lasting just under nine minutes until these three crew members will be in space. You'll see that owl uh, begin to float in the microgravity environment, an indicator of once they've reached their uh, final altitude. On board, and the crew is feeling well. Copy. And then in just a few seconds, the strap-on boosters will be jettisoned. And the visiting vehicle officer here in Houston confirming the escape tower has been jettisoned. And those four strap-on boosters have also been jettisoned. They've completed their job and will now drop away. So Soyuz already at an altitude of 28 statute miles, cruising along in the, at a speed of about 3,350 miles per hour. 140 seconds into powered flight, the structure is nominal. We copy. Everything's fine on board. We are feeling fine. Zero zero twenty nine thirty eight. We selected 
inaudible. Affirmative. And so the second stage now firing the core booster, continuing to push the vehicle along. Is nominal. And then getting confirmation now, the launch shroud has been jettisoned. So the Soyuz spacecraft itself now exposed, the rocket already in an altitude of about 48 statute miles. And just a little over three minutes into the flight, so used to already traveling at a speed of about 4,700 miles per hour. There we can see NASA astronaut Jeff Williams. This his third ride on a Soyuz spacecraft, getting ready for his fourth flight into space, his third long duration mission on board the station. 200 seconds. Engines of the second stage. The second stage continuing to perform as expected. The core stage of the Soyuz rocket measures 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter with a single engine with four fuel chambers providing between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust depending on the altitude uh, of the rocket for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. It's going to continue burning um, for about another 45 seconds or so until the 4 minute 43 second mark. Then Soyuz will use what's known as a hot stage technique. The third stage will actually ignite while the second's still burning. That's why the Soyuz has that open area between the second and third stages. Everything is fine on board. The crew is doing well. Zero, zero, 33, 38. R1, command is to be issued. And all reports coming from Russian flight controllers indicating the vehicle in good health. And now we're going to be standing by for uh, the execution of that third stage. And getting confirmation of second stage separation, a bit of a jolt there. The third stage now propelling the vehicle with a single engine. This engine provides about 67,000 pounds of thrust. It's going to burn for four minutes and two seconds. Romeo 11 is selected. Copy. Observing. So already over five minutes into the flight, the Soyuz already in an altitude of over 105 miles. 20 seconds. Structure nominal. Copy. Burlak 1. The crew is doing well. Copy. And again, this third stage, the final stage of the Soyuz and its climb to orbit is going to fire until about 8 minutes, 45 seconds post liftoff. So uh, about another two and three quarters of a minute um, until the third stage is going to be done with its job. And then at that point, the liquid, single liquid fueled engine will cut off and drop away. But again, everything, all the calls coming in, the vehicle performing as expected, not tracking any issues, and the crew on board in good health and making their way towards the International Space Station. And also again, once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit, the module separates away a series of pre-programmed commands will spring into action in order to, pre to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. Uh, that includes uh, deploying the antennas and uh, activating a number of uh, computer commands to activate systems on board the Soyuz spacecraft. 56. We are expecting separation. And the crew is doing well. Thank you. And we're just about seven minutes now post-launch, so another minute 45 seconds for this third stage until its separation. At this point, the vehicle approaching speeds of about 13,500 miles per hour.
Four sixty seconds, structure nominal. Good luck, one copy. Doing fine on board, the crew is doing fine. Copy. Four hundred ninety seconds. Inaudible. Nominal flight. So just about twenty five seconds away from that third stage cutoff and separation. Five you can seconds. see the crew on board the Soyuz still doing well. Keep your eye on that owl. Like Should start one. floating uh, in just a few no. seconds actually. Expecting Separation is zero zero thirty five twenty seven. Copy. And you can see the jolt. The third stage has now separated the single liquid fueled engine shut down and dropping away in an altitude of about one hundred and twenty five statute miles. The third stage performs an avoidance maneuver and by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. Mission Control Moscow, how do you read us? Burlaki, Mission Control Moscow, you are loud and clear. How was? Uh, loud and clear. How was separation nominal in time? A schedule of this final board. And getting word from the visiting vehicle officer, all antennas and the solar arrays have deployed. So all of those pre-programmed commands executed successfully. The cores and telemetry antennas out and the solar arrays deployed to begin providing power to the Soyuz spacecraft systems. Again, and it's set on an altitude of about 125 statute miles. It's going to orbit at a, an altitude of about 143 by 118 miles. But this orbit, of course, is going to be raised systematically over the course of the next six hours, placing it in close proximity to the International Space Station.